Hello everyone and welcome to another Fantasy Grounds Unity video. And in this video, I want to talk about extensions. And there's two different ways now to get extensions. Now, the first way to get an extension is through the new Fantasy Grounds Forge. And you can get to the Fantasy Grounds Forge here on the forge.fantasygrounds.com website. And I will put a link to that down in the comment section below. And the Forge is where all of the content creators that have in the past put extensions on the Fantasy Grounds forums, on the DMs Guild, etc. This is a new platform for all of those creators to put their extensions uh, here on the forge and all of this is done once you either pick up one of the free extensions or if you pick up one of the paid extensions then the fantasy grounds unity updater will automatically add those i believe to your vault folder so that is the first way to take care of any kind of extensions that you get on the Forge. This is going to be the future of Fantasy Grounds and extensions. So uh, I would definitely check out the Forge first. There are so many nice free extensions, and there are also a lot of nice paid extensions as well. And these are all going to be updated through the updater from the startup screen. So that's going to be really nice, and the authors will get those updated for you. Okay, so the next way that you can do extensions is the old school way. And you can go to the forums, the Fantasy Grounds forums. There are lots of extensions still on the forums. And to find out where you put an extension... First off, this is a startup screen for Fantasy Grounds Unity. And in the upper left-hand corner, there is a folder icon. And this is your data folder. And when you open up your data folder, it has a bunch of folders, etc. For your, you know, all of your tokens, your rule sets, etc. So once you download an extension, you want to go ahead and look for the extensions folder. And then open it up. And then, as you can see, I got a bunch of extensions. Then you would take that .ext file and you will put it inside of this extensions folder inside of your roaming data folder. Then you want to completely shut down the program after you close out the extensions folder. Now, you, like I mentioned, it is very important to shut down the Fantasy Grounds Unity program all the way to desktop. Now... That's so the extension will load. So you'll start the program back up. And when you start the program back up, you can go to your load a campaign. You can go to create a campaign. And here is an extensions box. So if you did not go the forge route, and if you went the old school way and downloaded uh, one of the .ext files, it will go here in the extensions box once you shut down Fantasy Grounds Unity, restart it. And then all you have to do is just, you know, click the little radial button and you'll be good to go. And there's all kinds of extensions. There's extensions that modify rule sets. There are extensions that have themes that have all kinds of, you know, decals, etc. So that's all you have to do is just go ahead, choose your campaign that you want the extension for. So if you're playing D&D 5e, just go ahead and select 5e and then look through your extensions and everything available for 5e will load up for you. And it is rule set dependent as well. So there will be different extensions for every single rule set. And then you just click the radio button, hit start, and you're good to go. So that's everything you need to know about extensions. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do me a huge favor. Give me a thumbs up. And also, if you like the content on the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to it. And also click that notification button 
which is the bell icon on the right hand side that will notify you every time that I release a new video. So once again, thank you again for watching and until next video, happy gaming and keep using that awesome Fantasy Grounds virtual tabletop program. Bye for now.